Hello, I'm Amanda. I work I'm, here. At Arcane, and this is. I'm Danny. Danny. I don't work here, but I wish I did. It'd be nice. Have a lot of fun. Uh, we're here to talk about Ladies' Night that happened at uh, the Comics Dungeon mm -hmm. in the uh, Wallingford area the yep. other night. On you were 45th. there. Yeah, you were mm -hmm. there at the beginning of it. I pulled in the last ten minutes after getting out of here, so. You're going to have to tell me about everything I missed. Everything. It was yeah. amazing. Yes. Um, in the fashion that only girls can do when they yeah. do an event, there were cookies, fresh baked cookies. They were delicious. The tea cookies were delightful. <laughs> I, don't, I don't remember anything after that. They kind of melted in your mouth. Sugar high. About 10. Um, yeah, so they had some like really amazing deals going on for the ladies. It was like 25% off trade paperbacks, and yeah. they had a bunch of... Dollar the issues. dollar bin, the dollar a lot bin. of dollar issue, uh, the love and rockets, all the yeah. old oversized, yeah. They were bursting with awesomeness, and um, yeah, it was really cool. I think at the beginning, the girls were coming in and they're like, Oh, wait, I don't have to be too cool for school because <laughs> it's all girls, yeah. And uh, so I think people started getting really chatty. Okay. I heard a lot of girls like making recommendations for each other and yeah. kind of like running around and going to get other books and stuff out, which was really nice because I don't think oftentimes you're allowed to get that kind of giddy in the comic book shop. Yeah, well, you know, there's there's a sense of yeah, sometimes you gotta play cool right Yeah, there. oh yeah, I'm always or, playing so There's it times cool. when I like to jump up and down and be like, oh my god, I love it. <laughs> and people are just like, oh, isn't that adorable? Yeah. What she just did. And then so. we all, then we had a, a lingerie pillow fight. Oh yeah, then, love it. <laughs> <laughs> not really, but um, then oh. Dark, Dark Horse uh, donated a bunch of uh, door prizes and stuff, so they had yeah, uh, a, a couple of raffles. This is some of the stuff that I got. Mm -hmm. My roommate Courtney went with me um, to the event and was I checking didn't stuff win up. the Wonder Woman statuette. Yes. It did not happen for me. The girl who won it was really excited about it though. That that makes that fills my heart with So joy. yes. So, so that was went really deserving. Yeah. Me. It yeah. went deservingly for sure. And then they had an author there and she also does a blog. What is mm -hmm. her name? Jennifer uh, Jennifer Tillis? Tiller, Stellar? Stellar, Stiller. Stellar. I just Jennifer met her Stellar. last night. She was awesome, actually. She was super friendly. Um, she, uh, I just kind of checked out her blog, and I should have brought the book up here. Pretend I'm holding something. It's uh, Inked, Inked Women Amazon. And uh, mm -hmm. I'm just butchering this, and Jason is just <laughs> hating me right now. Uh, but uh, Sometimes it needs to be butchered. Yeah, no, sometimes uh, you know, I need to be prepared for the, the yeah. camera. Uh, but uh, no, she was fun and uh, she was smart and she does a lot of stuff with Comic Con. She gives some speeches. She didn't do a speech or any sort of presentation, but she was just super talkative, very friendly, very open, just very excited about meeting all the ladies at the Wore lady night. Where, was she was wearing a cute dress. Super cute. Yeah. Uh, the shirt. <laughs> Yep. You know, totally. She was she was sporting it. Yep. Yep. I thought um, so when I was going, I was thinking about it and I really read. Um, a lot of strong male characters. That's mm -hmm. definitely what I go for in my comic book reading. So I decided I was going to get some chick comics. There you go. There you go. Yeah. And so what I was were like, your chick comics. I was I was on the, I was going for it. I was like, what am I going to find here with chicks? And so mostly I was just looking for at first something really ridiculous, but then I mm -hmm. got distracted by um, this Marvel set, Heroes for Hire. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. Which is, you know, it's mostly chicks. They all look pretty sexy. They're all that, lined up. That's part of it. Front. Yeah. That's part of it. So I'm going to read that. Maybe I can yeah. tell you guys about it later. And That'd be um, But then I saw the Gotham City Sirens. Gotham City Sirens. Uh, which I love Batman. I said yeah. it last time I was here. I'll say it yeah. again. Gotham City Sirens School. It might go on my grave, gravestone. Yeah. She loved Batman Gail Simone comics. Wonder Woman. It's another awesome way to go. Mm -hmm. um, even her uh, Secret Six. It's got some pretty, pretty strong, pretty tough women in it. Nice. But yeah, and like Birds it. of Prey lately. I don't know if you haven't checked that out. I haven't. But awesome, and even going way back to the earlier stuff. And Another Gail Simone. If it starts getting too much chicks, Piece though, I don't know. Well, I don't that's want to yeah. lose my cool edge by getting yeah, too much no. estrogen in wanna, my comic you area. Want your fair mix. I'm just saying, like yeah. sometimes it's it's Secret Six has got your both male and female parts. There's it's a balance, but oh, um, I think those are all titles that are written. They're just well written titles, and it's not something you have to think about being a, a male or 
female yeah. when you read them. That's the thing. I like, always think about being a female. When they write a comic book for a woman versus when they write something, you know, yeah. just write something in general that's just, this is good writing. <laughs> yes, I totally agree. We don't have to gear it towards any specific gender. Yeah. 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 I don't like my uh, comics geared towards my gender. Well, I have to time. I'm, well, 75% of the time I'm slightly insulted because they're wearing something like they're going to a club and I don't go to clubs. Like, I don't know. Why, why don't you go to clubs? Let's go um, to the club. <laughs> well, okay, I like rock shows. I do that sort of venue thing. I uh, yeah. I don't wear the tight little dress and the. Uh, that's weird because that's what I wore. That's what I wore to oh, you're awesome. the comic dungeon so, last night. Yeah, good job. Good I job. you know really high heels like six yeah. inch stilettos. Yeah. Yeah. It was no, weird. Something yeah, cute and <laughs> tight and little. And I'm so, I'm sorry I missed it. I'm really. <laughs> <laughs> next time we, we interview, next yeah. time we talk, we just Obviously. have a conversation on video. I'm waiting for the wrap-up <laughs> sign. <laughs> yeah, so hopefully they're going to do it again at the yeah. Comic Dungeon. Um, no, I think it's an awesome thing. It was kind of one of those things where I walked in there at the very end. There was a good line of people. People were chatty. I had heard something, you know, like when people first got there, it was that thing. It was a group of women, and there had to be a little bit of an icebreaker. Like, it was sort of that shock of, like, oh, it's all of us. Mm -hmm. And, like... But yeah. then everything sort of melted away, and, and people were really happy people about it. It was fun and a good mm -hmm. time, and so yeah. yeah, a lot of talking it up. Very very cool. Next time we'll have to go at the same time. You know what? Let's make a date. To all the to all the chick only, events. Only if you wear something tight. All the chick events. Short. And I'll wear something you, tight and short. You we'll tight short. It. We're going to the club. Yeah. The, the comic book club. <laughs> yeah. <All right>. <laughs> <laughs>